This video is split into three parts. Part 1 regard the current view of the dimension. Part 2 explain concepts that will help you grasp the fourth dimension. Part 3 explain to you what is the fourth dimension and show this is a logical explanation and also show that from time immemorial this explanation has been given to mankind. The shadow of a dimension is always one dimension less than what that dimension is. Let's look at a one dimension object, a line. It has only length, no width, no thickness, and it also casts no shadow. Now let's move to dimension two. There is a length and there is a width, but there is still no thickness. The shadow of a two-dimensional object is a line, a one-dimensional object. Now let's move to dimension three. There is a length, a width, and a thickness. The shadow is a surface, a two-dimension object. What they propose as a four-dimensional object is the tesseract. The problem with it, it is a cube in a cube which become deformed and it will project a two-dimensional shadow. So as it project only a two-dimensional shadow, not a three-dimensional shadow, this is a proof that this is likely a problem and that view of the fourth dimension is not correct. As you can see, they are trying to explain a fourth dimension object with three dimension object, which make no sense. You can't have a series of dots to explain a line because dots have no dimension so even an infinite amount of them doesn't draw a line. It is the same for the surface. Even if a line try to explain a surface with line, because the line has no width, even an infinite amount of line still doesn't show a surface. The same goes with the surface. Even an infinite series of contiguous surface doesn't produce a 3D object. As human being, we can only sense three dimension, which means we can only sense the shadow of a fourth dimension unit. This means if the explanation we give produce a three dimension shadow, it is possible that that explanation is the true explanation of the fourth dimension. For the concepts, please move to part number two.